Hello everyone, we are live on our official DDO live stream here on twitch.tv slash DDO stream. Don't forget to give us a follow if you want to uh, be notified when we're going live. We are live every Wednesday starting at noon Eastern, minus 4 GMT, and live on other times as well. I uh, just generally whenever... Uh, Whatever we have something we want to do here. It'll be regular weekly live streams Hello, on Wednesday. We are live we're on trying our to do official stuff on uh, DDO. Oop, let me mute myself. On Friday here, uh, quite a bit as well. Probably not this Friday, though, because this Friday is PAX East, which uh, reminds me that if you are heading to PAX East, uh, we got some stuff for you. We're having an unofficial, uh, sort of an informal player meet and greet on Friday evening at the uh, Green Dragon Tavern. So if you're in the Boston area or happen to be attending PAX East and think it would be cool to hang out with fellow DDO peeps and uh, talk a bunch of DDO. Uh, head on over to the Green Dragon Tavern. Again, that's at 7 o'clock Eastern. Uh, also, uh, Turbine is going to have a fairly big presence at uh, PAX East this year. We're uh, debuting Infinite Crisis to the masses with a massive booth and big uh, launch party and all that sort of thing on Saturday. So you can find out more about that if you want to by uh, going to infinitecrisis.com. That's our our next game coming out. But uh, also, if you're attending PAX, uh, keep an eye on the Didio Unlimited Twitter feed. I'm going to be uh, giving away swag to whoever wants it, basically. So if you're a Didio player and at PAX East, uh, go and uh, keep an eye on that Twitter stream. We're going to let people know where I am, and if you meet up with me, I'll do my best to get you something, so hope you're having fun. Okay, so what are we doing here this week? We are continuing probably our uh, our final uh, voyage with the Mortal Voyage Permadeath Guild on Arganesson. I died last week. We're going to see if I can not die this week. But we are picking a fairly tough quest to see if I can not die this week. We are going to be running Tier of Dekan. This is a uh, free-to-play quest, uh, fairly difficult, level 7. We're running it on Elite. And uh, we've got a group with me. So before we actually get uh, fully started here, why don't we introduce uh, various members of the group. Uh, is it uh, Sammy Kazi? Why don't you say hello? Hey there. All right, and uh, we also have uh, <coughs> Voosterling. You're a uh, ranger, is that right? Uh, it's a rogue barbarian ranger. Okay, and you are going the to be scouting. what they call on point for this, which means it's your job to take care of the traps. Right. No. Uh, we also have a uh, cartoonder. Uh, say hello. Hello. And uh, what's your build here? Uh, combat bard that sings. Okay. <laughs> not uh, not particularly complicated. <laughs> and then finally, uh, you. you why be all natural? Oh, why be all natural? Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. All my tunes start with YB. All right, cool. And you're a, a druid build. Yes. Uh, I myself am uh, playing just a straight up rogue this time around. Uh, Due to the fact that I am starting at level 7, I don't have any gear, and I don't really have a high enough gear to be able to take care of search and spot on Elite, so that's why we've got uh, Voosterling hopefully able to do that. But I do have, you know, Sneak Attack, I'm a Halfling, uh, we've got the uh, Dragon Mark of Healing, uh, thanks to, uh, in large part, to Jeff Hanna from DDO Gamer, who put an interesting blog article about the uh, Halfling Healing Dragon Marks this past week. I figured, let's put that in the live stream and give that a uh, little bit of a run-through. Uh, otherwise, I just mostly am going to, uh, you know, as roguey as I can be on this one. So. I'm ready for okay. my invite. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got someone. Uh... Yeah, I think you ended up with a star there, Coach. Yep. And then also, uh, Imperil is uh, with us as well. Uh, so uh, tell me about uh, you, Imperil. What's your What's your build? I am an Intimidate Paladin. Yep. Cool. I so you'll have all the aggro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the idea. Nice. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I notice uh, in the chat room here, people are already noticing the higher quality of the stream. Uh, thanks very much for noticing that. We I did work after last week's live stream to uh, tweak some of the settings to give us a higher quality of live stream. Now, that does mean you're going to need a little bit uh, more bandwidth on your end in order to stream this uh, well, but hopefully the quality is good enough that... Uh, it offsets uh, any additional bandwidth usage. It just looks a lot better, I think. So, And just based on my little preview window here for Twitch, I'm already seeing that you can read the names. It uh, just works a lot better here. Uh, so thanks, everyone, by the way, for joining us. Uh, we will be giving away some uh, turbine points uh, throughout the live stream here, but, uh, and you know, not right now. We're getting started. So Tira Dekan. This is uh, a, a pretty difficult quest. Why are we running Tira Dekan? <laughs> <laughs> Show off the playstyle, I guess. <laughs> right, cool. And because we can. Because we can. We got a full one. 
get you killed even faster this week. Yeah, like throw the harder for us. Yeah. I'm going to try to not die this week. If I if I could possibly do it, I will. So, so we're doing tier instead of Gwylands. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you guys in us already? Yep. Yeah. Yep. We just we just stepped in. Okay. <coughs> Cool. Glad to hear that the uh, stream is looking good for folks. One second. <laughs> Someone noticed I've got a haircut. <laughs> yes, I did get a haircut. It's called a uh, pre pax You know, you want to want to look your best at uh, at pax I am going to be at the uh, Infinite Crisis uh, booth uh, working on Saturday and Sunday, helping out there a little bit. So if you are a DDO player attending PAX East stuff, uh, feel free to stop by and say hello to me. Um, I think I'll be helping to deal with uh, various swag at the convention. All right, here we go. Gather for song. All right. Here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a <laughs> demon on wheels. Bum, 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 bum. So uh, just uh, for to reiterate for those who are new to the stream or perhaps did not watch last week's stream, the Mortal Voyage Permadeath Guild is a guild that employs a, a unique, well, a somewhat unique uh, style of uh, play in Dungeons and Dragons Online called Permadeath. And in the core Danger. of Permadeath is when you die, you delete. Uh, this There are some ways to sort of, uh, uh, you can use, say, one rest shrine as a group. Uh, if you have a res, you can resurrect people with, say, scrolls or whatever, um, but there are limits to that as well. Um, there's also some uh, various rules that you can find out on the Mortal Voyage Permadeath page, and that's uh, mortalvoyage.com. At its core, Permadeath is about yep. running content that really challenges you and making sure that you don't die at its core. So, uh, explode off to the right. You got the trap. Mage. Yeah, the trap's clear. There's a bowman. There's a uh, cast right behind this pole. He's, uh, he's active. Let me trip some barrels. There we go. <coughs> okay. Open the door. Alright, we're gonna go down a hallway here. Hey, the Mortal Voyage has been a uh, permanent guild for There's a wolf time. coming in? A warg coming in? Oh, nice shot, warg. Alright, whole bunch of mobs coming. Bunch of mobs coming. They got their... Got their attentions. Stay alive. Or, or. There's two casters up ahead, a war mage and an adept. Let me see if I can, um... Put one of them back. I don't have my bluff item on, do I? I could try bluffing one. Sure. I had my disable item on instead of my, my bluff. Oh. Alright. Just grab, disable uh, one. Yep. Alright, I got to add depth of pulling off to the right here. Just shooting. It's another one coming. Yeah, both. Looks like. You get them both? Yeah, we got them both. It's down. Is that all there is? Is this too? Yeah, it's just this suit. Alright, we've got a couple cases. And if you didn't watch the thing last week, we sneak everywhere. Because yeah. aggro management is really important to us. Aggro uh, management is really the core, uh, one of the core principles of Permadeath. I mean, besides <coughs> staying alive, it's about knowing how to manage aggro because you've got to stay alive, and you don't do that so well if you're being surrounded uh, by mobs and pounded on here. Hmm. Alright, there's uh, about four mobs in there. One there's cast also, uh, for those who are curious, war. Um, We're a no-spoiler rule with uh, Permadeath play. So, even if, for example, folks here exactly. have run Tier of Decon before, exactly. they're not going to say, oh, there's a trap here, oh, there's a trap here, that kind of thing. What you'll see instead is uh, making sure you try to the best of your ability to um, match what your character would see. So if your character has, say, a high enough spot to spot a trap, then you'll be able to call it out to the group. Is that right? That's correct, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. There's a little lever back here, too. And we don't, we don't repeat quests, either. Pretty much. Yep. 
so there's no farming. We don't do a quest over and over again on the same tune. When he says we don't repeat quests, he means we don't repeat them on the same character because we run Corthos a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you run Corthos a lot. <laughs> Last week hey guys, I'm going to forget that I'm the healer eventually, so if you're in trouble, you got to scream it out. The door? Uh, I am sensing a secret door. Yep, draft. There's danger here? Ah. <coughs> fifteen. Let's see this door here. We got. We got a. For equipment, I am using a starter dagger. And a starter short sword. <laughs> so only right. the uh, only the finest gear for my level seven rogue. Is it hey, um, gate here with no obvious? Uh... Our song has run out. Let's renew that real quick. Gather up. <laughs> Any opportunity to sing? <laughs> Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that card. Yeah, I considered uh, for this rogue rather than uh, going uh, halfling. Uh, I considered briefly going half elf to try out the bard fascinate ability again. All right, we got some uh, ochre jellies. What's that music going? Somebody's playing something. Oh, do you hear my phone? I didn't think I was yeah. Yeah. talking. Yeah, yes. sorry. Thanks for reminding me to turn mine off. Yeah, there's no. Uh filter here for the game filter it no, I thought I had turned on a push to talk and mm -hmm. thing but it doesn't work. I'm not going to hit these things because they'll just ruin my sword. Yeah, I uh, you know, I typically what I'll do for the situation <coughs> is if you just drag an empty uh, weapon set slot to your hotbar oh. and then click it, you'll switch just over to fist so you can punch that. the uses. And of course your fists don't take damage. Although some of your gear mine, I think I picked but... up a mukbang at some point. Yeah, I got an heirloom mukbang. Alright. Heirloom it. Alright, uh, this is uh, intelligence. I'm still Maybe hitting F every time I talk. <laughs> I can get it, I think. If, if nobody else can. What is it for? Too low. I got it. Actually, I got it. <coughs> intelligence? Oh. I'm out. Where's our wizard? Oh, we have a sword. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what about the. Uh... Cartoon. Nope. All right. Probably not. Nope. Anybody got a? Nope. Who's got a foxes? I can do. Me? I got a foxes. I can go up to twenty. Oh, I gave that foxes cunning wand to somebody. Damn it! I'm at eight. I got nothing. Uh, I have an intelligence of eighteen. Oh. Try it. There you go. That's a winner. So. But no, it's not enough. Yeah, uh, I'm at 19 right now. Maybe I that give you, um, foxes. Yeah, we can share potions. So I'll yeah. trade, I'll give you this uh, foxes pot. I got it. You got it. He's got it. It's another guild thing we can't low. share except inside the chest, but yeah. we can share consumables. Still too low. 20 is not Oof. enough. Um. Wait, I got heroism. Yeah, hold on. No, that won't help. I don't think that will. No. <laughs> Doesn't stack. Didn't give you intelligence. Oh, that's just attacks. Um, I guess we're gonna have to not do these. This. Okay. It's looking that way. Dang it. We're just not smart enough. Yep. It looks like a rune, but. See, if we knew this quest. To push it. <laughs> if we knew this quest, we would have known that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there was another lever on the other side. We'll check that one out. Danger, danger, danger. Yeah, my uh, spot is obviously not high enough. Oh, search item. Let's see. Uh, someone asked in chat about Death Pact. You know, what do you do about that? And the answer to that is Death Pact is a legal raise, uh, dead, but it does count a against your total number of deaths. And the way that typically works is it's actually kind of, um, uh, if I recall correctly, sort of a uh, first edition D&D uh, &D sort of thinking, where you can res yourself based, uh, what, half your constitution? Is that right? Something like that? Yeah, half your constitution score is the total amount you can be raised. Yeah. Got uh, some coming in right now? Patrolling? 
So if you have 14 con, seven raises. Uh, has anybody, same has same anybody ever made it to their max? Castle behind them. Coming. Coming. Wow. Not bad. Yeah, the war kick Oh, a mutt. I don't know if we have any Adventure Time fans here, but uh, whenever I'm in sneak mode in DDO, I just go sneaking, sneaking. <laughs> it's a door here, but you know. Looks like that would be a potential uh, secret door, but I'm not uh, picking anything up. Yeah, I mean, gather for song real quick. Careful though. He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. <laughs> Joe is there. G.I. Real American Hero. Yes. <laughs> Gotta put our best foot forward as a guild. That's why I've got him there. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you guys like even get six other guys? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going. Uh oh, I'm trapped outside. Oh no. Got something oh. in here. I uh -oh. got this, guys. Oh my uh, gosh. Run. Adept, I need to kill this adept. Who's in there? I got it. I got him. Wow. These guys, these guys don't have me. That's I'm, harsh. I'm very, uh, <laughs> stout. There he's. There's another. Oh, there's another one. Hey, not bad. You barely took any damage there. Yeah. Oh, we got slimes behind us. Yeah, we got this move. Is this, there's danger here? I don't know if you're aware. Oh, this is a fun corner. There's I'm a... guessing the danger might be that big fire trap. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a blade trap in with the fire trap. That's just the song, <laughs> isn't it? Alright, there's still one going, so let's be careful. And there's some more sounding ooses, I think. Sound like gooey something. Maybe not. Something yeah, picking yep, up. There. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, for those who are curious, uh, you know, last week uh, someone in, in Mortal Voyage mentioned how a change to the way aggro management works has been detrimental to permadeath. That you could say, you know, pull one mob at a time with ranged. Uh, after the live stream, we did actually uh, talk to uh, one of the devs working on it issue similar to that and made him aware of it. It looks like we may um, see a fix for that. I, I can't guarantee it'll be in the next update, but probably within the next couple would be the goal. That'd be Excellent. awesome. Yep. Because we don't just don't die enough right now. Two. <laughs> <laughs> what? It just wasn't realistic how it yeah. is. That's like you is that is up on the... Oh, he's dead. He's yeah. dead now. Never yeah. Right. He was stuck up in the pipe. Ooh, that chest in there room that opened up. Right, check so, it out. That so people me. are asking a little bit about death in chat. Like, what if, if you do get a legit resurrection, uh, how does that work? You have to leave the quest, is that correct? You have to yes. leave the quest if it's a raised dead or resurrection. If it's a true re resurrection, you can Yeah, resurrection stay. you can stay in. But true true resurrection. resurrection. Okay, so raised right. dead, you need to get their stone to raise them, and they have to leave the quest. Resurrection, you do not need the stone, but they still have to leave the quest. True resurrection, you neither need the stone, nor do they need to leave the quest. Yeah, they could stay in. And do you, if you do have to leave the quest, does that count toward you can only run the quest one time? No. no. You get one There's completion. Hidden right here. Okay. Because we use the completion list right, well, to I determine hidden. if we run a quest or not in the, uh, with the, the adventure log. Oh, so I should re-equip my weapons, since they're not punching uses anymore. Sometimes, though, you die at the last fight, and before they raise you, they complete it, and you get the completion. And that does count. If anyone gets a potency item, uh, think of me. Or this ring? Yeah. Here, I'm going to use this bastard sword, because you might be able to use it. Um, Honestly, I I would take that uh, plus two frost dagger of ghost band. It would be better than a plus oh, yeah, one right, starter your, dagger. <laughs> your starter, you, you can take anything. Yeah. Hi, here you go. You want this, this uh, tower shield so you can mm -hmm. turtle up? 
And maybe not die. Oh, except I can't actually equip it. Tower yet, shield. It's level uh, um, 10. It's I level 6. Minimum 6, yeah. I wouldn't mind the tower shield. Oh. I'll give it to the tank. Do you want this ring up? Protection 4. Guard mantle, that's pretty sweet. Wow, oh, can I use it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You don't need wisdom. <laughs> Uh, nice. What about names? Do you can wow. you reuse your name if you're basically rolling up a new character? Oh yeah, everyone does. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. People you like put to, a number uh, after it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah, people put off think a number. The first Samakazi. The first, the second, the third. Their the third. Uh, yeah, see Roman numerals. <laughs> I think Parvo had the thirtieth uh, once. <laughs> yeah, my main guy's on seventeen. My uh, yeah. strength is too low to use this lever. We'll leave someone it? who's uh, not a wimpy little halfling, I think. I'm out. Uh, I might be able to. Like you can see, this guy's why we natural cream. Where's He's the left right? On the left hand. Oh, there it is. I might not be able to then. Nope, not strong enough. Oh, really? <laughs> we, we have strength. <clears throat> in, we have no strength or intelligence. Wow. <laughs> oh, and we decided to do this quest. <laughs> well, I guess we're not completely. Well, let me. I can check for potions on that one too. Hold yeah. on. I got a potion of bull strength. Who's got? I got a 19. Anybody beat that? I you have a 19 without it? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I only have a 15 strength. So. Anyone? Anyone? 14 actually. Nope. Looks like 19. It is. There we go. Hey. Nice. Can't be. There's a strange looking agate. Oh, see any trap. It should be clear. Somebody want right, to um, I'll grab it. There you go. I feel like I know more than I did before grabbing that shard. <laughs> <laughs> XP. Got XP and shard shard grabbing. <laughs> well, I learned how not to cut myself when grabbing a shard from an altar. That was worth 486 the, points. One of the skills in our compendium is Shard Grabber 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> Maybe learned a little uh, geology there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's, um, there's a couple of valves here. I'll grab this one on the right. I'll we'll grab the one on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Alright, um... Hmm. So hallway, we should be able to either jump down or we could jump across. Can get back up. Why don't we check below first? That way we'll just work back up, maybe. Like the water. No, you know what? We can't you. get all the way back up here, can we? So let's cut across to the left. This way. I gotta jump. All right, here we go. It seems that'll be the the best choice at this point. All right, song. Any requests? There's uh, two hidden right there. Oh. oh. Yep, hold on. Got him. Incoming. Caster. Uh, caster. Uh, caster. Two There's more. two incoming, incoming um, heavies. Uh, my intimidate is almost ready. Ow. Ouch. Alright, hold on. Round of heals coming. What was that? Fireball? Flame strike? Yeah, it's a flame strike. Oh, and I'm sad or melancholy. Yep. I feel depressed. I have despair. We're never gonna make it. All right, we could probably de charm <laughs> this uh, berserker. Give me a moment. Poor guy. Far yet. There we go. <coughs> All right, now gather for song, please. Do, 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 do. Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 I'm going to. So, what would you do if you? Did get to the shroud. What would be your personal opinion as to whether or not the death in there would count toward your total death limit? I would say, I mean, granted, I'm, you know, just my opinion, but if it's a required mechanic of the quest that you die, then that probably should not count toward your total mm -hmm. death that would limit. Be, that would probably yeah. be the ruling when we get there. Yeah, yeah. when it came up, we'd probably have to discuss it in guild and. I, I don't know. Maybe that. uh, maybe she just have to commit to that quest, what? and then just be like, "Hey, 
you know, I'm gonna mercy. suck up uh, death here. Perhaps. <laughs> it you definitely this. not make any green All right, uh, <laughs> something's hearing us. But we can't, we can't farm it, so. Well, that's true less, too. Less yeah. likely that no one will get green steel anyway. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we can only want it run once. If we all best one person, about one person. Yeah, we still run it for the fun of running it. One or two of them. I would love to see uh, the group uh, do the shroud, though. Um, I did, you know, there are other permadeath guilds that that have encountered this question because it's a, a fairly down. regular one. Um, and I know that there, you know, there's some differences between the various permadeath guilds in terms of what, how exactly they run. Um, but you know, certainly for Mortal Voyage, that sounds perhaps like, like maybe you would just need to suck up the dead and, and, and call it done. There is. Let's see some steps here. Cross. I'll tell you one thing: when you're going uh, PD and you don't have a lot of a, uh, uh, did someone hit this lever or this valve? Uh, probably not. Just cross the way. I'm gonna hit the valve quick. For so slow before I jump down, make it easy. You're still okay. I'm gonna release the charm. Oh, they did. It's a charmed guy. There is a valve over Great. here too. Yeah, I see three uh, three crystals that need to be lit up here. So there's Let's probably a, a third one somewhere. Uh, looks like there's a valve in the water down here. I'm not going in. I sink like a stone. <laughs> Dwarf, I fear water. <laughs> Ooh, Does hydrophobia mean anything to you? <laughs> Send in the new guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're going to be in the group, you got to do this kind of stuff. Sorry. Go for it, Hugo. I never knew a, a level 5 protection from fire potion would be so great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Keeper. <laughs> All right. We got a sentry off to the right here. That's cool. Everything Maybe becomes more relevant. And he's looking. Ooh. Somebody. Somebody was a sneak. There's a draft or something up here too. Is oh. it a door? If I can see it. It really wants to be found. Yeah, nice. if, uh, I'm seeing a secret door as well. I got a door here. Let's see. We call it lightning from a tunnel. Let's check around here go. though, just to be sure first. Yep. I don't see anything in this area. Check behind this pillar. Yep. Nothing I'm seeing. All right. I'm gonna pop this door. I see a couple of, uh, a couple of mods that, and looks like a couple of, uh... Ezer, yeah, we got some warg looking... Arzag core berserkers. Uchis. And then everybody's sleeping in here. Oh, it's nap time. Let's all take a nap together. Look at cookies, Ezer. You're right there, the whole group should be running at us. All of them. Yeah, we should be freaking out right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are right. you doing top ups, YB? Uh, no. I can. That time is over. I can. I don't have a lot of mana, but I can touch up. All right, we have another shard. This is Amber. Let me just uh, check the traps just in case. Nope. I think you used to date her. Right. <laughs> Amber shard. Is there, a, is there a bug in it? Ah, Jurassic Park reference. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Arcadius uh, from uh, the chat asked basically, are we at level of the quest? And the answer is, uh, it, to some extent, we're above level. The core rule for Mortal Voyage Permadeath is everything is run on Elite at the level of the characters. So if it's a level 7 quest on Normal, like, say, Tira Dakan or Gwilin Stand is, then you run it on Elite. That actually makes it a level 9 CR quest. So you're actually running uh, quests that are harder than uh, your character level. Yeah. Uh, the other option is you can run uh, one level above your character level on hard. So you could run a level 8 quest on hard, which again would make it a level 9 uh, uh, CR quest. Yeah. So there were two levels below the difficulty. Yeah. Uh, two. A highly successful rule change, I'll add. Mm -hmm. Successful in sending me back to the beginning a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
the idea is it's it's a core challenge. I mean, the whole uh, yeah. part of the whole point is just kind of see what you can do here for uh, yeah. permadeath. So, right. you know, people have asked, it's like, well, do people ever eat? It's like, well, why would you? You know, like, yeah. it goes against the... Why would you even be doing permadeath if you're going to cheat? Yeah, so, a just don't join the guild or they leave very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, it looks like we can get up back up to the second level tier. So let's go check in the the bottom for anything. Is it safe? YB? Oh, oh, YB. Somebody's in trouble. YB. Where's YB? Oh. <coughs> yeah, we do. We've got uh, at least two. Oh, that's two, there. Uh, hey, Aster. Yeah. Hey, there's water behind you. Get in trouble. That's not mine. Oh, we're all right. YB car causing trouble. All right, release this guy. Ready? Put yourself in next time. Wait, he did. Put some causing trouble. <laughs> I'm going to go take a uh, dive in the water here. Why be causing Anyone trouble? Anyone got a bubble dude? for me? Bubble, bubble. Why be causing trouble? I um, I might have a trouble. Uh, there is a uh, hallway down here. You in the I water? I got a self bubble. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go back Bubbling. up actually and give myself some water. Alright, going in with the bubble. I've got a clicky. Do, 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 do. The clicky comes in handy. Uh, yes, I am running a VET-7. They're essentially, you know, at the core of uh, permadeath, you run um, starting at level 1. But I, for the purposes of the live stream, just to provide more challenging content, and so that we're not all running uh, Corthos Island stuff um, on the stream, I got an exception to create a VET status 7 character for the purposes of the right. live stream. Well, you could have spent three weeks building your character up to this just level. I could have, but <laughs> I just didn't Might have time. Have <laughs> there's exploders, and then there's something uh, here in me. Yeah. I can pull them back. Oh, entry. got oh, at least one sentry. Stay away from this folder. Dang. Punch me. Yeah, see at least one more around the corner. Yeah. Invariably, if you're actually trying to build a character up for a certain quest, he dies right before he There's gets there. There's a bunch of exploders in here. Let's, yeah. um, let's check it out. Chat. Ooh, what? Did he... Um, there you go. Yeah. I see a uh, lever uh, behind... behind a couple of smashed crates here. Oh, yeah. There it is. Come on, Vu, you're supposed to be finding those things. I'm I'm over here looking at the secret door. So. Wait, over here. <laughs> Come here. I got a secret Why door. Secret door wins. Okay. The shrine. Oh, yeah. You're going for the obvious. My job is to find the hit. <laughs> I guess that All right. maybe we Why don't need to use the shrine yet. This is shrine number one. So the rule is. Sam, can you hang in there? We use okay. every other, starting with the first one. Or we can, I should say, not that we do. Yeah, we can use it, or we can put it, we'll put it in a pocket. Can I get um? Can I get a heal real quick? Then? Cause I'm a little. Is that Sam? No, this is Vuz. Look at him. He's... Oh, oh I, I was 81 hit points, man. I was scared. <laughs> hmm, there should be another lever here. So, oh, there we go. All right, we got it. All right, we got some crates. Oh, we got some stuff right here. A sentry. We got some things. Oh, Ice Storm, not mine. Uh, back up, back up. And a caster. Ah, you sure. A couple casters to the left. Nice cure would be handy. I can't see you. Thank you. Okay. Alright, got him. Alright. Uh, I'm. It looks like it goes up around the corner here. I'm going to guess that there may be more, more mobs here. The archer is on me. A couple archers. Um... Archer's on me. Um, looks like that's it. Just two archers up top. Nice. Got another shard. Malachite. There's a little tag on it. Tell teaching you all about Malachite. <laughs> Made in Sharn. See, that's that's what's good about DDO. It's also educational. <laughs> <laughs> Just clicked on my expedition retreat boots and jumped off the cliff. <laughs> so you felt faster? Yeah. <laughs> Old habits. <laughs> That's why your character dies before the quest you want to run. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, we uh, taking a swim. Uh, does anyone have a bubble? I don't have a soft bubble. Yeah. I used mine earlier. So yeah. Like, oh, there's. I can bubble. Bubble. Delicious. Thank you. Cool, thanks. 
It's short enough, though. It, it should be pretty all right. Even Usually, if you're but in the... Right? Yeah, it's a real sad way to die. <laughs> heavy, yeah. but... I can yeah. probably make the heavy. Yeah. I'd have to take off my tower shield, though. That's true. Tower shield is the killer. Yeah. yeah, if you die from drowning, you make a much better story. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I was soloing Vela, and I got all the way to the end. There was ten percent health left, and uh, yeah. well, and then sometimes you know you get a little lag out, and then you're, you wake up and you're yeah, dead. and that's it. A couple barrels up to the right, bridge framed by moss. Oh, uh, look at these guys. There are bowmen, 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 bowmen. Yeah. We're definitely... Okay, there's bowmen. Yeah, there's, there's some... Let's uh, see. I just charmed the adept front. boss. I can shield block. Oh, oh yes, we got to the right here. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Back up. No. Or go forward, one of the two, your call. <laughs> Dang it. Right, there we go. Caster's down. Oh, there's another one. Where is he? He's ours. Oh, uh, there's some up top here, too. Um, is there way up top? <coughs> it looks like there's yeah, the ladder's off to the side here. It's on that side. Okay. All right, where's this cast? Egg it. Right. When we get to the when we get to the door, we'll uh, song there's again. There's an adept right here. Anybody have any requests? <clears throat> All right, gonna let him go. All right, I got a valve up here. Valve is used up top already. Yep. Star Blazers. <laughs> Ooh. Dumb I like Man, I love that cartoon when I was a little kid. Yeah, that's that, great. You know, I watched it on Netflix a couple years ago. It really does not hold up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, song. On me. We've I... come to outer space, <laughs> right. leaving Mother Earth <laughs> to save the human race. Yeah, that ship was cool. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. The wave particle cannon is that what they called it, or what was it called? Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah that sounds right. right. Whoa, we got at least yeah. four here. Yep. Ooh, wrong weapons. Yep. Is it named in the back of that hallway? So let's not get. Yeah, too and there's a caster up here too, though. War mage, kill that war mage. Echoes. I see a berserker patrolling, and then yeah, the champion. Right. Um, Come on, champ. Don't wanna... our, our it looks like we got the aggro on champ. He's incoming. Yeah, we got a sork. Oh yeah, we're, we're all right. Nice. Do you want to go back and use the shrine in a minute? Or? Got the chunk. Push on a little more. Okay. Uh, there's there's three a three around and the corner a war mage here. To the right, and an adept. Yeah. Two casters and a melee. I tried to uh, bluff one. Sure, let me see if I can get the melee. Oh, you got it. You got it. You're the buffer. Perhaps uh, try grabbing the adept. And down the long range. There's also a uh, lever here. Is Although, I don't back? know if... Chest? Ooh. Chest back here. On me. Get the chest, we have a lever. Shockproof. Someone said they wanted a, uh, a spellcasting implement. Yep, yep, that would be Samakazi. Okay. Oh, this is cool bracelets. Yeah, they are. Very nice. I could use those. Help! I'm getting lightning. You know, so there's a uh, there's a a uh, valve here. I'm going to guess probably opens that door. <laughs> Actually, do you know what though? There wasn't there uh, a ladder going down back a little bit by the original hallway where we were fighting all those dudes. Is there anything in the water there? Did anyone check? There's a vu. <laughs> back here. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Here. I do notice, yeah, down in the water here, there's a lever. I wonder if it's worth checking to see if there's something down there. Sure. I'll, look. There's there's a a I'll keep the bridge safe. There's a grate closed here. 
the lever makes the bridge blow up. <laughs> you shall not pass. Uh, there is a tunnel down here. Uh, but uh. it looks like it's locked. Or yeah, but it's got a collectible in, in it. Yeah. Uh. Adventure Ventures back. Yeah, that's where that went. Got my shamanic token. Yeah, a bunch of grapes. <clears throat> Bridge is still safe, guys. Excellent. Look out the door. Alright. Lever. Door. The valve right here. Yep. Yeah, they do just have a shiv for those who are noticing my hotbar. Uh, yeah, I mostly went for the rogue mechanic line uh, initially because I, I was trying to see if I could get my skills up enough. Are we all trying? Let's to? use this. Right. Yep, go ahead and try still and use the next one. So. I'll hit blurs when, you, uh, when you're done. So when you're done, do me a favor, stand by the door. So, uh, as I was going to say, I basically uh, took Rogue Mechanic because I wanted to get my search up high enough, knowing that I wasn't going to have any gear. Uh, so I gave myself a, a plus three to search and spot, although it's still obviously not enough here. Uh, and then I did just grab uh, for the Assassin line the uh, 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 Shiv, and I, then some of the half enhancements as well. So. <laughs> Not the greatest. I probably should uh, redo that. If once I realized that I wasn't going to get my search high enough to really be able to effectively do uh, the stuff on Elite, probably should have just scrapped it and started over. But uh, you know, whatever. But Shiv is all right. It's a nice little low-level thing. It deals a uh, plus one weapon damage and reduces threat, which can uh, help um, help on sneak attack, and it also gives you a slight benefit um, as well. You might uh, be able to find this saves. stuff. Stuff get some buffs. I'm gonna song it up real quick and then I'm gonna try it. If you had like a heroism buff or something, you could probably detect those traps. Yeah, perhaps. Yep. Uh, it's not really high enough though. Without any gear, um, oh, well, yeah. I did give myself a little gear, um, but my search is only 20. So. Oh. Is 13, so that's not enough for really. Um, yeah. I need that spot. Yep. According to the quest log, we're only 16 deaths or kills away from being done, so that's cool. Yay! <laughs> Why are we waiting? I'm not I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I mostly was just uh, handing out some uh, a turbine point code to someone watching in our chat stream. That's what I was up to. Oh. So, by the way, if you uh, if you are watching the chat stream, I am randomly giving out some uh, turbine point codes. So check your inbox if you get one. Uh, there'll be a code there, and you'll use that code in the DDO store in game. So if you hit uh, Control S to open up the DDO store in the game, and then uh, put, uh, go to Add Points and then Redeem My Code. Drop the uh, code with no spaces or anything, and make sure if you're copying the code over that you don't accidentally copy over a space and you should be good to go. There's another ladder down here. Is it worth checking uh, out? Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah. yeah, it's um this is the Hobgoblin public bath, I think, or something. <laughs> Steam or demon yeah, well, well, Don't at least drink that a water. Lot of water here. Help display some of the stink, I guess. <laughs> I bet it's the stink. Alright. <laughs> yeah. I mean we're in a sewer or something, right? Well, so, that's true. That's not really water, you realize. Well, maybe. It is water. There's water in it. <laughs> <laughs> Diluting it. <laughs> Making it healthy. Okay, okay I see at, least, at least three here. A uh, <laughs> couple of three bowmen on the left couple side. Three bowmen. Perhaps more. Uh, yeah, a couple on the right here as well. I'll clear the bottom level on accident. <laughs> oh, you got that guy. Cool. Ah, dang it. Oh, I fell in the Alright. Uh, I see a uh, valve uh, towards the top here. I'm going to uh, jump up and perhaps use it. Let's see. Valves. I can't jump there, YP. I'm sorry, I can't break it. Oh, that's cool. I'll just, uh, he's about to break the suggestion. I got this one. There's one over here. Yeah, he's there we go. Right. I'm going to uh, dive into the water to see if I can find anything of note. Alright. 
because I should. I should. Uh, there's a valve down here as well. And I just used it. Alright. This door is open. Alright, so we got a um, champion Prantang. Another, another jump. And then there is. Oh, yeah, he's the named. I'm just gonna shoot him by himself. He's going down. Our champion uh, I see at least two guys. Yep. There's two more coming, including a uh, the caster in the back, back here. Back. Yep. Ooh, yes, there is a caster. Uh, I don't. There are no more around the corner here. Gave me a little shot there. Ooh, there's a chest. Hey. Like Actually, if we see a champion, we're going to send you out there for champion on champion single combat, like the old Greek. Hey, look! Uh -huh. I was hoping for that. Ooh, ooh! Want to inflict serious wounds, anyone? I like this champion. I thought I was a hero at first. Ooh, clever cloak with intimidate. That's pretty and nice if nobody wants it. Uh, uh, just saying to uh, Mithral Solana, what weapon am I using? That would be a plus one starter dagger and a plus one starter short sword. Oh, that's clever. Form. So, uh, yeah, our, 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 can I get, um, our Razor Cat has uh, grabbed quite a bit of aggro here. I don't want that, um, the, sh uh, the scimitar. <laughs> scimitar? Vu? Yeah, oh, good, this game. Vu, take uh, any scimitars or short swords. Anybody want this clever? Yep. I like the intelligence, but I don't want to intimidate, so... If you want it, you can have it in. Uh, I probably mm -hmm. won't be able to use it by the time... I... Level is at yeah. 9. Yeah. Alright, we got aggro in the next room already. Yeah, our, uh, our kitty decided he wanted to... Look at my... Uh... Hang out with it, get some new friends. Everybody's ready, I'm going to pull this lever. Yeah. Me one. Go after that yeah. small caster there on the left first. Yeah. Oh, fireball, uh, fireball to the right. Yeah. Fireball to the right. <laughs> I see uh, Bowman to the right and to the left. It's a caster. Did you get him? It's a caster. Not yet, he saves. Oh, he's got fireball. Damn. <clears throat> Come here, Berserker. They don't, they hit like babies. I can't actually get up there. I guess I'm gonna pull out my plus one starter bow. Not bad. Any more I can reach? Nope. It's a lever. It's a real quick, keen, cold iron, let's up There's a lever over here. Can I pull it? Yeah. Let me check. And we're open. On what? Um, Sorry. song at the portal. Or whatever you call this thing. Portal. Entrance. The, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cakes lie. Can't think of a song. <laughs> mm, Thundercat. Transformers more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to <laughs> You just fade off. Yeah, it's a it's an eighties thing. <laughs> I'd be curious to see if we ever did get a permadeath completionist. I bet it happens at some point. <clears throat> there's a slayer. Oh now they're active. Yeah, and there's a warp and a bunch of other guys. Oh, he's gonna hit. It would open up a, some new challenges though that I think would be I wonder what the answer is would be for because if you had multiple past lives you're obviously going to be in a much better position than uh, someone starting out at level one it's actually forbidden mm -hmm. in our guild 
Oh, really? Um, yeah, tr true reincarnation was forbidden, at least it used to be. No, Wait, when did we do that? I don't think we ever made a ruling on it. We haven't there made a ruling because nobody got there. The regular there was no one got there, lesser was reincarnation was forbidden. Uh, yeah, it's lesser oh, reincarnation. Sure. Yeah. No, no, true was forbidden too, back when Parvo was making rulings. Parvo so didn't know what he was talking about, though. He, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, right, we got a champion. A, you know, there, I, I can understand, you know, why they might initially you know, make that ruling, although you, you could also... Because you restart like, with gear, argue. right? You'd have to right. delete all your gear, and also you start stronger than other characters. We make sure everyone starts right. with the same power, and you have plus two stats. So perhaps you would have to do something like uh, plus be considered stats. one level higher than you actually were for the purposes of each past life, perhaps. Hugo, you want those uh, bracers? A little help for your hit points there. So for example, you know, instead of being able to run level seven, you'd be considered level eight. Maybe something like that. I'll roll them for them. I want those too. <laughs> Sam, you crafting? Anybody crafting? No, this is this uh, guy's not who's crafting. Remember, want the staff. Who does craft? Corrosion healing. Sweet. Hugo, you want to roll for the bracers? It's fun. Everybody's doing slash, it. Slash roll D one hundred. Oh, ah, victory! Sorry. <laughs> Anyone else? I'm gonna be over a hundred. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna roll on too. What's up? Anybody no. want the staff? This potency <laughs> staff. Oh, we we'll get some. Was that a Sorry, serious I roll, get... Blue? Or... Yeah. Fifteen I give it to you, Sam. You're gonna have to pass them along if you don't mind. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll give it. Give it to Mike. Right. I want to live. I don't want to die. Look at that. Now I'm at 131. So we're allowed to share the stuff in the quest, but not other. Than, after that, we can't share any equipment except for consumables. And if more than one person wants the stuff in the quest, we just roll for it, and whoever rolls wins. Sure. Yeah, the thing about true reincarnate too is like we can't buy anything right. from the I'm store, and so it'd be really hard probably to do it. Well, you'd have to uh, basically earn your way to it. Yeah. And you can't repeat quests. But I guess you could probably still do it. I would, well, I mean, the, technically, there is a way... Well, actually, now that I think about it, because there's also a rule about uh, wilderness series, isn't there? Just don't, we don't farm. Yeah. We don't farm yeah, things. No farming. I mean, I think eventually, if you did it enough... I think there would be probably enough, at least, for a, a second life, but I'm not sure. Eventually, you'd run into an issue where you just didn't have enough quests, I think, per level. If you restricted it, that you couldn't ever run those quests again. Yeah, how bad would it be if you died yeah. on your third life at level three? Yeah. <laughs> Isina, I need like a minute. Oh, I'll do it in a minute. Oh, shit. My headphones are going to turn off on me. Uh -oh. oh, lots let's of things coming. This and we'll go. Casters in the back, several. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at those casters. I'm trying to get this big guy. Come on, big guy. Show me what you got. Hey, not bad. Nothing. Alright, do your uh, headphone thing. Yeah, I'll catch up. Give me 30 seconds. <laughs> Another chest here. Ooh. There we go. Dex 2 built of speed. I can use that. Oh, also a wand of cure critical. Oh, the chest? No. I had some minor well, scrolls. Here, critical, I might be able to use that. Yeah, I will roll and or arm wrestle anybody yeah, for those. Paladins can't use critical. Your cure series is your max. Oh, that, never mind. That is belt. It? So nobody? I would take Well, anybody got UMD? What is the. Is oh, we got one incoming, probably. Oh, two. Two patrols. Uh, th no, three. One is a war mage. Four. Yep. Lots of mages. Just trying to get my stuff. <laughs> you want that spell sight, uh, Sam? Do. Yep. The druid would take the. Cure I can use the wand of cure criticals actually. So if actually, you're okay. Give it to give it to the bard actually. He can use it. Probably use it. Ooh, what's this? Influence that. Let's see. Wand of cure critical. Can Paladin use it? I can use I can use the one of cure critical. Yeah. Okay, keep me healed. Yeah, maybe. 
<laughs> Prismatic spray. Who cares? No, use that. That cloak. I could probably use yeah. that cloak. Yeah. Is that uh, Imp? Yeah. You talking about the natural armor one? Yeah, I could use that. Uh, it's, uh, Krill in the uh, chat here actually raises an interesting strategy point that some quests require you to split the party. I bet that's a particular challenge as well in uh, Permadeath. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah more fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like to split up. <laughs> Makes things yeah, it does. All right, we got some sleeping berserker here. It's even more strategy awake. when you know you're going to be half staffs. You're, we spend a lot of time at the split up point, going, "Well, if you go here and I go here, and <laughs> right?" <laughs> like in elementary school, picking teams, I choose in the war mage. Especially in a particular quest in House J. Love that, <laughs> uh, Love that one. Uh, two, two more centuries coming. Alright, All right. Uh, we got a door head in front of it is an adept and a couple of heavies. Yeah, a couple so of berserkers and an adept. There. Kill that adept. I'll get those berserkers. Alright. Right. Still not active. Oh, right. now he's yeah. dead. <laughs> <laughs> no! Does that, does that work? That works. This one time. Uh, well, that it's uh, lit up, but uh, oh, I see a war mage down there. It is uh. <clears throat> I'll I'll grab his aggro and then pull to the left. Sorry, I beat you to it with a bluff check. Sentry. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, we got uh, we got a couple incoming here. Just let the charm go. Going in. So that's sometimes the problem with charming things or pets. No, I charmed yeah. after we had aggro. They, uh, <laughs> I like yeah, right. Let's talk about one strategy, charm is like, good. Maybe two if there's like more than ten mobs. I see. I love my circle of persuasion. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. At least I Especially if there's a big. Yep. The only thing that stinks about that is if they all save and then they all yeah, come right. to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you trying to do? It happened to me once. All right, new song. Thunder, 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 Yay. cats! Oh! <laughs> and then you brought out a thunder cat. That was that was pretty cool. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Been waiting on that. Uh, Yuda mentions that maybe the build, the uh, stream quality is a little high for his computer. See, that's that's exactly what I I've been trying to, to sort of find the right balance on. Because essentially, the way it is, whatever I put the output on, is what the uh, uh, oh right. Tributive uh, Battle Shield of Combat Mastery. Hey, there you go. Uh, whatever I set the uh, stream on the output on is what you're going to need to be able to stream an input on. I've got it set to 720p, which I know is a little high. I may have to kick it down to something like perhaps 480. But I just wanted to see how we could get a higher quality here. If, uh, if ultimately, on balance, most people are able to see the stream okay, uh, then I think I'd prefer to keep it at 720 but if we need to, I could drop it. Um, one option for you as well is, you know, if I am danger able to get this say out on YouTube and Twitch at 720, Exploders too. then you could always danger. Uh, lower the quality uh, or watch it after the fact, although I realize that's not, you know, as good as being able to watch the live stream. Well, hey, there's danger. Guys. Danger. Danger. Get out! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, get out of there! I'd, there we go. I'd watch out of them. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, a hair away. Yeah. You made it that pretty one. far. I think. I think yep. you're winning the bet. Yeah, must, you should have bet against the people. There must be. Yeah, must be some sort of trigger. <laughs> good. I'm hearing some some good comments about the the stream not uh, getting too hitchy at 7:20 here. You're right. So so permadeath is ultimately about learning from your mistakes. 
right? I mean, is it one of those things where you and mm -hmm. other you're an expert once you've died a million times? <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I watched like others. If you would have died there, you probably would never walk into that room like that again. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's certain traps where once you do it three times, you're like. <laughs> or hopefully, Not you've done it three times on one trap, and then you don't do it on the next one. Well, there are a couple traps that you can't detect, and so you just sit there staring at him going, okay, I know I'm going to die, I know I'm going to die, but... I really yeah. like the quests that they actually... Where the boxes are. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, really you gotta, cool. um, I wish they would do that it. more. That'd be oh. awesome. Not terrible hand wraps. Here you go. I don't like that lever. Death block chain Ooh, there we go. Lawful. Oh, nice bracer. <laughs> Look at those, those bracers. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. I, I, you I'll, I'll roll on those. Yes. I'm rolling on them. <laughs> you gonna keep those, nice. I assume? I'm not gonna... Yeah, I could, uh... Anybody want them? Oh, oh yeah. I'll we'll roll on them. Fort 100%. Not bad. Oh! <laughs> oh, why me? Why me? Getting the bracers. He really wanted them more than I did, evidently. I've got this huge smirk on my face right now. Deathblock <laughs> chainmail, anyone? I can't do this. Uh, you know what? I'm wearing deathblock chainmail. That's my other chainmail. Inventory slots are full. No. Ah. <laughs> Time to dump some collectibles. Make sure you keep all your gems, yo. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, this door's still closed. Is there a lever in here? That's another interesting thing about our guild. Money is practically useless, except for spell components. Yeah. Yeah. Respects. Well, I would imagine over time. Well, yeah, yeah right, because you can't really. We don't buy potions, yeah. we don't buy. Uh, it, it's good for uh, fixing things and getting house P and house J buffs. Yeah, yeah I suppose. Yeah, I usually die. Incoming. Incoming. Oh, we, we got uh, four or five here. If you're a wizard with stone skin, you might find yourself buying a lot of inscription mats and stone dust. Uh, more incoming. Another couple of centuries. <laughs> Got him. Oh, more coming. Caster. Oh, War Mage. There's three casters. You might. Jesus. Alright. I mean, this is time when I have gold, I uh, just end up sending it to the, right. the guild bank at the end. End of my life. All right, lots of barrels here. So, I got let's see. Something fell out. Goggles of accuracy three. One from barrel. Accuracy four. What a fall! All right, so yeah, we've got. Uh, I have invisibility if we need it, but I have to. Jump. Yeah. Anybody have jump? Uh, I've got it now. Someone pass it out. Jump uh, there you. are some. Oh, I'll take a jump. There's Behind us. Yeah. Respawn. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Let's go before they respawn. Try not to fall. Falling's no fun. For the faller, it's fun for for me to watch. It's fun for me to watch you after you fall. It's a cave. Hey, I made it. A, a clay column. We all under fall. We're all, all right. Nice. Good to go. Wow. Nice. That's like a I'll first thing. <laughs> You're a lucky charm, Hugo. <laughs> all right. Check uh, to see if there's any traps. I'll go with you. I mean, other than a massive. <coughs> there is a clear golem. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not damaging uh, you. I'm doing need, uh, one point of damage. Hey, I did a couple damage. I think I have threat. Oh, he's adamantine. I got adamantine. Three points with Shiv. I got that. Nice. And they mocked you for taking the 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, there's no wolf. There's no wolf. Oh god, my wolf's in the big room. I was dying. Uh, Wand force muscles. He's, he's safe, he's gone. Wisdom plus four, that's nice. Yeah, let me see if I have a wisdom item. If not, I'll put it up. <coughs> I have wisdom two. No, I think I need it. I've only got plus two. So. If you guys I, don't want. Sorry. I was just going to say, someone in chat asked a question about your Actually, say, uh, goggles, so. sneak skills. Um, do you tend to max out your sneak skill, even if you're, say, not a rogue, uh, for the purposes of permadeath play? Or do you yeah. tend to uh, just sort of use sneak naturally without spending a lot of skill points into the uh, various hide, move silent, and all the rest? If you are far enough back, they're not going to see you if you're in sneak, regardless of your skills. So you only need good hide or in silently if you're the scout and you're getting up close. Sure. It's actually not having too high of a sneak can be used pretty well on getting creatures to come towards you without actually seeing you where you're at. They'll hear you and kind of like move towards you. Oh. Uh oh. Does nobody want those wisdom goggles? Don't go where he's at. Uh, I grabbed somebody. He's trying to spear us. All right. Oh, you got out. Good. All right, so we're, we've got a bunch of hobgoblins here in the city. I'm going to say we should try to make for that cave and see how far we can bypass this stuff. Yeah. Is it open? I'll go first. The door's open. You guys okay. ready? No, it's... Is it? I can Does actually anyone want visibility? I have enough to give us five of them. No, I'll never say no to visit. We're going down. Okay. Thanks. It's closed. Come on. I got some of their attention. Get in the door. There's a guard at the door. It's spellcaster. It's open. It's my butt. You got the door? Where are you? Yeah. What's that? It's water. Get to the door. Just get to the door. Okay. I'm getting. No fighty, no fighty. Come back to the door, let's take him out inside the door. Watch out, there's a spellcaster right out there. He's probably gonna come on me. Yeah. Alright. Hey, not bad. Oh, we should leave them, they've got, they're, they're the they're occupied with the cat. Let's leave them for, ooh, watch yep. it though, behind Don't us. Go. We got one, two, three, four, five, yep. six. There's also some seven. coming. Stop yep. shooting yep. <laughs> at those guys. Where are they shooting at? Oh, they got an incoming, incoming uh, caster. Okay. All right, these guys behind us uh, are. We've got at least one war up. mage and two berserkers on head incoming. Except for that berserker. Oh. Ooh. Another uh, bowman coming up behind us. Why are these guys coming up behind us? Try not to get to that door if you can. Uh, it up got steering light. Door. All right. All right. Good times. That was fun. Well, we have an option here. There's a chest over there to the west. And then I guess I know where we're going. <laughs> Chests. So it should be mentioned, uh, just sort of going out of character here just a little bit, that Tour de Con is a free-to-play quest, and really one that, if you are a free player, you should probably get to know pretty well, because there's some really nice low-level loot right, more coming in. and stuff to be had around They're all here. aggroed? Almost all of them. If you're looking, if you're looking for a good free quest that can help uh, fill your coffers up, Tier of Decon's not a bad one at all. Yeah, and when we have a uh, plus two loot weekends. Yeah. Whoa! Spawns, spawns, oh, spawns. Spawn. Spawn. Ah. Yeah, when there's a plus two weekend, you'll find us in here quite a bit. Cloud kill. Cloud. That's not ours. Ah. name back there. Yep. It's a caster. You're going after him. He has a stupid cloud kill. You need to get him over here. Whew. Nice job, guys. 
I mean, on the killing part. Yeah. First part wasn't very smooth, but the rest went well. It was an ambush. Oh, okay. yeah. Couldn't do nothing about yeah. that. Yeah. It's a pop. You know what can you do about up. that? <laughs> Go in, they suddenly appear at the door. Well, then, nice job, Hollow Goblins, on the ambush. Yeah. I'm the not, ambush uh, is pretty good, but I'm not, not picking up any trap or anything. Not too good. No. I'll search just to be sure. <laughs> Got this stupid poison oh. on me. We don't have any, um, do we have any, uh, Warforged? Nope. Oh, helm, sweet! That beat the one you already have, Sam. I got a helmet! Uh, the quarterstaff? No, I'll take that. I have no quarterstaff, so that's great. I also want to chat, uh, Krill asked about VIP seeing actual hit point values. It's not a function of being VIP, as it's a function of the monster manual. If you're able to kill enough monsters, uh, one of the rewards in the monster manual is you'll actually see the hit points uh, that the mobs have once you get uh, kill enough of them. Uh, what weapon do I have? I have a plus two starter rapier for an extra 1d6 shock damage, and thanks to a chest in here, a plus two axiomatic dagger in my offhand for uh, law damage. I can't believe we haven't found anything better for you yet. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I we have something that not, there's I a couple of, a, yeah, I saw a couple of things, but I, uh, they were not my level. Um, oh. I actually did find a set of hand wraps. I suppose I could switch over to hand wraps, but, well, again, no, it looks the like it's not up my here. Hand level Oops. either. But, to be honest, these, it, you know, Rogue is all about the sneak attack. And mm -hmm. I seem to be doing all right here with my starter gear. In this look case, the, the lawful sneak attack. Yeah. Oh, other thing saw me. That's good. I'll get him. Let's, let's embrace. Hey. There's another pikeman coming in. There's a war mage at the top there. War mage up top. Him. Oh, yep. yeah, I definitely. Yeah, a couple of them, I see. An adept. There's an adept back there. Yep. Back behind the, uh, the archer up top. Bowman off of us here. All right. <coughs> hey, there's another. Challenge uh, list. Moonstone shard. All right, you got that. Cool. Yep. Okay, we have got at least a berserker, yeah, a couple of berserkers, and a war mage. That war mage. I'm going to guess that there might even be more. I'm going to try to pull that berserker. Oh, looks like we got some. I got him. Okay. Hey, nice job. Sound pull. I mean, sight pull. Let's see if we can uh, bluff the other berserker, huh? All right, it's a pikeman popping up too. Exactly. Pikeman saw the one. And sentry. Okay. Yep, it's going to be a whole group. this pikeman off. Hey, pikeman! <laughs> that's not fair. That <laughs> lighting know. is just decimating him. <laughs> so let's back up and get a song real quick, sorry. Yeah. Decimating me, and we're two levels under. Jam! Yeah. It's truly outrageous. <laughs> truly, truly, truly <laughs> outrageous. <laughs> Why are there Mithra Solana asks why there are not episode. dragons in the monster manual? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that question. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Guess we'll never kill two hundred of them and get <laughs> Dragon Slayer one. Well, I mean there could be that, but <laughs> that you know, I'm sure perhaps you could adjust it to take that into account, you know. It's not an unsolvable problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need more dragons and quests. Oh uh, yeah, well we could just have you know, everyone wants to <laughs> I'm sure everyone would love to see uh, Cobalt Assault Epic, so maybe it's Cobalt Assault, yeah. but with dragons. So, There's a, um, you know. a named off to the left here, Lieutenant Raka Kor. It's a lever back here. Lieutenant so. cool. Let's check out this lever. Ooh, Shield of Faith. Do I have that thing on? Alright, pop in the lever. Yay, is that four? Oh, it's a vicious set of statuary. If it's three, we could use it. It's our yes, third. This is a. Uh, this is three. 
We could use it if we want. How am I even gonna wait? Just use it. Yeah, Sorry, made the decision for us. I'm already resting. All right, stand by the door. I'll give you a blur until they run out. So first come, first serve. Throw up. If you want to make it real challenging, we just you know let them run on echoes. Well, that was part of my problem last time. I was uh just not used to the shrine rule so I kind of blew all my spell points the first couple of encounters and then found myself in a very difficult position but, but there's a whole bunch I learned, I learned from this uh, last week's uh, show and I bet that's the way it works right in the real yeah, yeah. In the yep. uh, real PD every time you die you figure out better tactics um, yep. you survive yep. it, survive out of mana you become a pack mule <laughs> yeah yep. or cameraman Yep. Alright, yet another song at the door. This is just great concert time for me. <laughs> Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. <laughs> DuckTales, woo! It's amazing how they all do the same effect. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I chose them for their inspirational uh, qualities. Go on, spell points. I'm inspired, that's for sure. Are you out of spell points? <laughs> Alright, I see a named down here. Lieutenant, the, uh, I challenge you, named Lieutenant. Lieutenant Greca something. Oh, this is M's one on one for the glory of his gods. I'm going to grab a couple of uh, small guys first. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. Pikeman, he's got a lot of little buddies. For the host. All right, there's a pikeman come back. Yeah, no, let's try to stay back here. Oh, no, I see yeah. at least uh, at least Some moving. three incoming. Yeah, there they are. Now they're all coming. They like Kitty. Kitty likes them. See, charms aren't really about, you know, getting the monsters killed, it's about surviving. See how it's always the one who we're friends with who's the one left alive? Right. <laughs> it's just, I'm just nice to them. They become a tank. Short-term nice, not really long-term nice. nice. Well, it's, it's hey, they, they yeah. get unfriendly after a while, I can't do anything about that. Hey, it's mm -hmm. for you, man. Keen dagger. Ooh, I've got Straddle a... Uh, plate of death block. I've Anyone? got a mnemonic. Who wants it, though? Plate. I okay. might be able to use that. I bet mnemonics are pretty well regarded as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. I could use that leather armor. Oh, man. What did you want? The leather armor. I got it. Are you using that? It's really hard to understand you, man. Sorry. Are you using the leather armor? Oh, you can have it. I'm sorry. Good to Keen dagger. Frost darts, anyone? Frost darts. No. Oh. Alright. You play darts and keep your beer cold at the same time. I'll take that death block. Cartoon dirt. You never know. Right into a beholder or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, eventually. All right, so we're we're heading down. All right. Well, there's already something seeing us or seeing me. Is there? So I got an eye for a second there. Yep. See? Yep. The eye of knowledge. There's a seeker scimitar of stunning over here. If you're looking for it, there, Hugo. Can you use me? That's a long go of rapid shots. Yes, yeah, Alcir KX is how you say that uh, dragon's name. All right, um, everybody ready for this door? Yep. Right, looks go. like if it will open, it looks, looks, looks webbed. Oh, look at this. Got their attention. Ooh, catch oh, down Sam. Sam needs a little. Uh oh, tripped. Flame strike. Uh... You took evasion, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> right. 
Okay. Uh, pull this lever. You ready? Hold on. I'm gonna, now. I'm gonna rage. I'm angry. Look at all these guys. Behind us. Leader. Chieftain. Come on, Chieftain. You know you want to fight me. All right. Nice. Congrats. Oh. Power 20, not bad. Kitty didn't make it. No. Uh, someone actually asked about that in chat. I, I earlier I didn't uh, bring that up. What about pets? What happens if your pet dies? Summon a new pet. If it's a or if it's a cast pet, you can bring them back. But if it's like your artificer that's free, or true. then we have different rules. And I don't know what they are because I never play artificers. <laughs> uh, uh, the one right now is is uh you have to wait until the next quest. Oh, okay. So they're just sort of dead for that quest. And that's yeah. It. There was a rule if for a while. You, if it costs you mana points, you can do as many times as you want. Yeah. Sure. Um, there was a rule for a while where you had to wait till your next level until our latest rule set that's, that was the standing for a long time. Sure. So, like, if you lost your pet, you didn't have it. If you lost it at, you know, the beginning of level three, your level three, you had to wait till level four to touch it. Plus you three intelligence, played. wizardry, two helm, anyone? Right, because people have their pets open doors and they would yeah. get mobbed by all the mobs and uh, they would die and people just kind of use that, so... Man, it's a shame we were too stupid to get that last tier, hey? Yep. Dang it. Oh, he completed that one. Great finishing yeah, out. Congratulations yeah. for not dying. I know. Yeah. Not bad, huh? We, if, if we had been able to hit that first uh, lever, we probably would have gotten all six shards as well. Yep. Not a bad deal. So. Finishing out, and even though you didn't die, now you got to go kill yourself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but then it can be a ritual, beautiful thing this time. And uh, of course, my uh, uh, my scorecard's not too great, but you know, it's okay. Actually, thirty-three. It's not yeah, making it through there with ninety-one hit points is pretty impressive, actually. Yeah. yeah, it's not too bad on the death death count either. So, or the kill count. Oh, I forgot to check my kill count. Being a disabling. You got a. You had nineteen. Yeah. The nineteen. Yeah, I usually don't. On this guy. I had 19? Yeah. Wow. My B had 69. Yeah. Just I'm just assuming I won, right? You did that on purpose. But yeah. Oh, of course I won. Wait, how I much thought I'd have like five. <laughs> how much the same I have? Oh, I've closed out. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let me uh, take just a couple of minutes here before we wrap up the uh, show to uh, answer some questions in chat. If you've got a question for me, either about uh, Permadeath, Mortal Voyage, or... Uh, or just Dungeons and Dragons Online in general. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Uh, go ahead and uh, type something in chat, and we'll see what we uh, have going on. For those who don't know, uh, Update 21, Patch 1, uh, just came out this past Monday. It does have the Divine Crusader Epic Destiny in it, along with uh, quite a few bug fixes, something like uh, 172 bug fixes, something like that. And uh, some other nice stuff as well. And for those who are curious, also some of the changes to the uh, launcher, uh, following uh, your feedback on the Akamai uh, client. Uh, we uh, made some uh, positive changes there uh, in response to that. So uh, we do have the uh, release notes up. Uh, another thing I guess I could talk about is that we did just put out some new uh, quarterly wallpapers. So if you like DDO wallpapers for your desktop or laptop or whatever, you can head on over to ddo.com and get that. And again, just to reiterate, we do have PAX East this weekend. So if you are at all in the Boston area, we're having an informal meet and greet for DDO players at the Green Dragon Tavern. That's Friday starting at 7 p.m. Just uh, show up. You're responsible for your own food and drink, but uh, we will just kind of hang out and have a uh, chat DDO and give out as much swag as as I can basically carry with me. And uh, if you're going to PAX as well, don't forget to check out the uh, Turbine booth. It's going to be a really big one. Uh, not focused on Dungeons & Dragons Online this year, uh, due to the fact that our next uh, new game is coming out uh, quite soon, just uh, went into open beta. Uh, Infinite Crisis is really going to be the focus of our big booth at PAX, but I will be there, at least on Saturday and Sunday, uh, quite a bit, tweeting around and uh, at the booth as well. So if you want to pick up some DDO swag there, come see me. And uh, come check out Infinite Crisis as well. Uh, anyone who's interested in uh, our next game is going to see a lot they can uh, check out here this uh, PAX East. All right, let's see what we've got from the chat here. Any idea when we're getting fresh installers for live and Lamania? It's in the works. Uh, for live, I believe it should be done 
as of yesterday. I'm gonna have to double check on that. Uh, but I think, I think yesterday we installed the new uh, live uh, core client, and Lamania is uh, coming quite soon as well. Actually, Lamania is now live as well. Now that I think about it, uh, we, we updated Lamania last Thursday. Uh, we got the uh, fresh installer for Lamania as well. The only outstanding client we need to do yet is uh, the Mac client. Uh, we do have an Akamai. Uh, a version right now that does not have Akamai in it, um, but we will be bringing a new version of the Mac client that uh, has better basically download management to it here in the uh, near future. Uh, are we having an event like the Traveler this weekend? Uh, I don't believe, let me see what I actually have here. It's not the Festival of the Traveler, uh. um, but we do have uh, a Heroic XP boost and a plus one loot boost, and I'll have the exact uh, wording on that uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I believe, is when that kicks in. But uh, we will be having the Festival of the Traveler here pretty soon. Uh, quite soon, actually. Uh, will we be making the portals for special events become active in the Hall of Heroes? Uh, I haven't heard of any immediate plans to do that, but that's a great suggestion. Uh, I'd love to see something like that uh, brought to the Hall of Heroes. I'll make sure to pass it along to the dev team. Uh, let's see. Who's the guy in the black glasses and gray shirt who just gave the thumbs up on camera? Sorry, I don't... Don't know. I'd have to check the uh, camera there. <laughs> check the uh, video playback. Uh, the launcher changes are in the patch, according to uh, answering uh, me, Thom's question. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I, I've actually been looking into the uh, card bag uh, issue as well. That it maybe should hold 14 items instead of 12. But I'll, uh, I'll, I don't have an answer for you on that one. It's on my list of things to look into, uh, however. Is there a dedicated Mac team? There's a dedicated platform team that does launchers for all of our uh, all of our games at Turbine, and uh, so it's not a dedicated Mac team, but it is a dedicated launcher team. Uh, otherwise, I guess uh, let's just uh, wrap up a few things here with uh, Mortal Voyager. Any uh, final words you guys want to say about uh, running Permadeath or guild recruitment or how someone can uh, check you guys out more and uh, join you? Just uh, log into the forums. Introduce yourself and ask somebody in game to invite you. Yeah, read, the the rules, read the rules. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and the, the uh, website is mortalvoyage.com. Uh, pretty easy to find there. If you and just aware, Google Mortal Voyage, you'll probably find it. So. Be aware once you join us, you'll never go back. <laughs> right. <on. laughs> yep. All right. It uh, looks like I'm going to have to call it a uh, day here because I have uh, got to get back actually have some lunch and all that sort of thing but before i go i'm going to drop some turbine point codes into the chat this is first come first serve first to grab them get some good luck and uh we'll see you guys next wednesday here for our official uh, ddo live stream on twitch.tv slash ddo stream thank you very much mortal voyage for uh, allowing me to run with you for the last couple of weeks it's been extremely interesting and uh, really insightful and i just uh, have had an absolute blast doing it so thank you very much for for being uh, such gracious hosts of uh, my dupeness here <laughs> very nice meeting you all right and we'll see you guys uh, soon bye